how to build a high converting affiliate marketing funnel for beginners. Okay, so I will be using ClickFunnels to build an entire affiliate marketing funnel from scratch. Now, you don't need ClickFunnels because you can just follow the same process as me, but to save you tons of time, what I'm going to do is gift you my funnel that I will build out today for free. Just click the link in the description. Okay, so we will be building this simple affiliate funnel. It's essentially a three-step funnel. The first part of the funnel is the opt-in page. So this is where you give something away for free. It could be a free video, a free checklist, and for them to get the freebie, they would need to put in their first name and email and click submit. Then on the next page would be the thank you page. Some people call this the bridge page, but it will essentially thank them from opting in. And on this page is where you introduce your affiliate offer. So it can have a video, an image, and below that will be a call to action, which links to the third step, which is the affiliate offer. Now this affiliate offer would be on the affiliate's website. Okay, so these first two steps are on your own domain, your own website. And then this last step would be on your affiliate's website, where learn more about the offer and purchase. And if they purchase, you get an affiliate commission. So I'm gonna show you how to build this simple affiliate funnel using ClickFunnels. Now, this is what I'm gonna build. So this is the opt-in page, okay? So I'm offering a free checklist. They put in their first name and email. And on the second page is the thank you page. And this is where I introduce the affiliate offer and it's Neuron Writer. So this is the call to action button which leads you to the affiliate page. I also include a link below the call to action that says no thanks. Now, what I've noticed when looking at my analytics is that tons of people, I would say more people often click the no thanks link rather than the call to action button. Now the no thanks link links to the homepage of AppSumo and I get tons of affiliate commissions from people who click on the no thanks link. And then below that, I do add a reminder to have people check their spam folder for a link to their free checklist. Okay, so this is the checklist. I will automatically email them this checklist and I remind them to check their spam folder. Now let's start building this affiliate funnel. So I'm gonna go to ClickFunnels and I'm gonna click on Create and click on Funnel. I'm gonna name it Affiliate Marketing Funnel, then click on Create Funnel. I'm gonna click on this plus icon to add the first step, then click on New Page. I'm gonna name it Opt-in Page, then click on Create Page. Okay, so this is my opt-in page and I'm gonna click on edit. Okay, so this is where we build out our entire opt-in page, the first step of our affiliate funnel. First, I wanna add a background. So I'm gonna click here and click on background and I'm going to search for a background that I uploaded earlier and it's this one right here. Okay, so we have the background and then I'm gonna click on add new section and I'm going to add one subheadline, one headline and another subheadline. So it follows the same subheadline, headline, subheadline like this. Now I'm going to hover over this blank section, click on settings and for paint, I'm gonna do none background so it's clear and for this kicker text, I'm gonna put down attention, SEO consultants, and freelancers. I'm gonna click on the gear icon, then click on these three dots for the typography because I wanna change the font. And for font family, I'm gonna search for Barlow, semi-condensed. I'm gonna increase the font size a little bit like that. Remove the letter spacing. Okay, and let's see what else. I'm gonna highlight this, then italicize it so it's a similar to this. And I'm gonna change the color to a more color like that. And let's do the headline. Okay, I'm gonna click on the gear icon and update the font. Okay, so we updated the font. Now, I also want to kind of add this treatment here where I highlight SEO audit checklist. Now, there is no feature in ClickFunnels that allows you to highlight text. So I'm actually gonna add some code. So I'm gonna hover over settings, then click on show code. And for CSS, I'm gonna paste this code in. Now, whenever I strike through some text, like this, it will automatically get highlighted. Okay, and then lastly, I'm gonna update this subheadline. Okay, so our subheadline is done. The word exactly. Okay, now we need to add a photo and also the opt-in form. So I'm gonna click on add section, flex, and I'm gonna do a two column row. Okay, now I'm going to hover over blank section, click on settings. And for paint, I'm gonna do none background, so it's clear. And for this first element, I'm gonna click on add new element, add image, and I'm going to add the image of the SEO audit checklist. So I'm gonna click here and find that image right here. 
And for fit, I'm going to do scale down and I'm going to click on this square ratio so it looks nice on desktop and mobile. And I'll show you how it will look like in a moment on mobile. And for the opt-in section, I'm going to click on this column settings and I want to add a background okay, like that. So it kind of looks like the form and I'm going to toggle the corner and make the corner 15 and update the padding. So 30 top, 30 bottom. 15, 30 for left and right, and 15 for the margin. Okay, now I'm going to hover over add new element and I'm gonna click on form, click on input for, this is gonna be for the first name, and then I'm gonna click on input again for the email, and then I'm going to click on button. Okay, so we have the skeleton complete. Now we just need to add the text and tweak it. Okay, so we have this text done and now I'm going to edit the form. So I will, for the first one, I'm gonna click on the gear icon. Now this one is going to be the first name, okay? So for input type, I'm gonna put down first name. It will be required. And for the email, that one is already required. Now I do want some space around these two boxes. So I'm just going to tweak that a little bit, okay? And also for the button, I wanted to kind of be about 20 pixels. Now for the button, I'm gonna say, get free checklist and also for the on click button action it's going to be submit order form okay so when they click on the get free checklist button it'll submit the form and it'll take us to the thank you page so i'm going to click on submit order form and for the button itself i'm going to change the background to something like this orange color that kind of pops and the font is going to change as well to barlow semi-condensed black and increase font size and for the corner of the button i'm gonna make it uh, let's do 10 pixels okay so i'm gonna type in 10 okay so now you can see the corners are slightly rounded and i'm noticing this white space here so i'm gonna hover over the row click on settings then for columns height i'm gonna click on auto okay perfect so it made the background part wrap more nicely around the form all right and i just made some tweaks in terms of the margins so it's nice and centered and this is how it looks like on mobile okay so it's nice and centered the font sizes are perfect the image is just the right size and we can also see the form still above the fold for the most part people enter their first name email then click on get free checklist so now we need to create the thing Thank you page okay so so let me um click on save first to make sure all of my settings are saved and i'm going to uh go back and click on this plus button and add a new page click on new page name it thank you and click on create page now i'm going to click on edit okay so now we can get to work now we are going to basically create this exact same thank you page right here so i'm going to start with the background Okay, and then add a blank section, one column, one headline, add an image, and then I'm going to hover over form and add our call to action button, and then click on content, add our paragraph text, and then add another headline, another image, and we should be good, right? So we have the skeleton elements, which basically matches these elements right here, and now I'm going to update the text. Okay, so we have the headline, and for the image, I'm going to find the image that I uploaded earlier, and that's this image of Neuron Writer, and that is added. Now let's do the call to action button. Now for the button text, I'm going to say grab Neuron Writer for 88% off. And for the subtext, I'm going to say deal ends soon, dot, dot, dot. And for the button action on click, what I want to do is click on go to custom URL and paste my affiliate link. Okay, so this is where the magic happens. You want to add your affiliate link. And I like to check open in a new window. That way they can still read the information after they click onto the affiliate page. Now for button style, I'm going to click on these three dots. And for the background, I'm going to click on this nice reddish orange color, the margins and the font sizes. Okay, so my button is done. Now I'm going to add the no thank you link. Now I think this is one of my secrets in terms of having a high converting affiliate funnel, okay? So many times they might not want your main offer. So I always give them a second link that they can click on if they are not interested in the main offer, okay? So 
I'm going to say no thanks. I want to browse other deals on AppSumo and I'm going to click on this link icon and then link to another page. In this case, I'm just putting a link to the main AppSumo homepage where they can browse other uh, lifetime deals on the website. And if they purchase another deal, I still get that affiliate commission. Now I'm going to make it a little smaller and change the color to, uh, let's just say black. And I also want to underline it as well so people know uh, that they can click on it. It's a link. Okay. And another thing I want to make sure we are doing is highlighting the phrase number one tool. So I'm going to actually first save this and I'm going to go back to the opt-in page, the first step of the affiliate funnel and hover over settings, click on show code and copy this CSS code and paste it on the thank you page. Okay. Now when I strike through this phrase, it'll turn to yellow. Okay, now I'm gonna add this second headline here, letting people know to check their spam folder in case my free checklist lands on that folder. Now I'm just gonna tweak the second headline. Okay, so I'm gonna add top margin. All right, I think it looks good. Now let's add the image. Okay, so I'm gonna browse the image of my Gmail where I added check your spam folder. Okay, so I make it really clear how people can check their spam folder. Now for fit, I'm going to say scale down and click on uh, this ratio right here. And you can play around with it and decide what ratio best fits you. So I think either I think this one looks nice. And I'm going to increase the margin a little bit. So we are all done. Now I'm going to check the background one more time just to make sure I do have a background for this page. Okay, perfect. I added the background. Oh, and lastly, spam folder. Let me highlight spam folder. Okay, so we have the first step and the second step of our simple affiliate funnel, high converting affiliate funnel. So as you can see, building out a high converting affiliate marketing funnel is pretty quick with ClickFunnels. Now you can actually download this funnel completely free. I'm going to give it to you. Just click the link in the description. Now, if you don't have ClickFunnels, that's okay because my link does come with a free trial. So you can try it out. You can launch it and also get some affiliate commissions. And if you want to purchase ClickFunnels using your affiliate commissions, you can do that. But regardless, it is free for you to use. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe to my channel and also check out the other videos on the screen. All right. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video.